briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a 1980 Delaware Supreme Court case, Wyke v. State, the court tackled the question of whether a homicide occurring during a felony should automatically be considered murder, and if an overt act showing intent must be present for someone to be charged with conspiracy. The case originated in 1978, when defendants were convicted of murder and conspiracy after attempting to steal marijuana from Robert and Kathy Fitzgerald. Armed with sawed-off shotguns, the defendants broke into the Fitzgerald residence, resulting in one of the defendants, Eugene Wyke, being shot and killed by Kathy Fitzgerald. Although the remaining defendants were convicted, they later appealed their convictions, arguing that they were improperly charged. The Delaware Supreme Court agreed with the defendants, overturning their previous convictions. The court held that a homicide committed by someone other than the felon or their agents should not automatically be considered murder. Additionally, the court ruled that an overt act in furtherance of the conspiracy must be proven at trial for a conviction under Section 512 of the Delaware Criminal Code, applicable to both subsections of the code, and the information filed was fatally defective for not complying with this requirement. Despite the reversal, the remaining defendants were retried and convicted for their crimes. The case was remanded back to the Superior Court for further proceedings. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.